so hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to add a dtm that is a digital terrain model uh, data into hecras 2d for flood modeling so in our previous video i have shown you how to uh, load a projection file into uh, into the ras mapper so uh, in this video i'm going to show you uh, how to load a terrain model uh, in the ras mapper so uh, so you can able to see that currently i have opened the ras mapper interface so we have to open the ras mapper using this option here which is available here to open the ras mapper so this is the ras mapper interface so uh, so now to add our terrain data first we're going to navigate to this option called terrains so here you can able to see this option called terrains i'm going to right click on it and i'm going to click this option called create a new ras terrain so now this new window called as a new terrain layer so in the first top uh, we can able to see this option called uh, set srs so that is a uh, the spatial reference system so we have we have already set the spatial reference system as a nad uh, 1983 utm uh, zone uh, 18 so we already set the projection here so now to add the terrain model uh, we have to click this option called uh, plus symbol i'm going to click this so now navigate to folder location where you downloaded your uh, dtm which i have shown in the previous video the free resource for hecras for flood modeling so now I have navigated to my uh, terrain data here. So now we're going to select this particular uh, file called terrain 50 dot bald uh, eagle dem here. So you can able to see that. And this is a TIFF uh, file format. You can able to see the item type is uh, TIFF file. So we're going to select this. And uh, from here you can able to see that the RAS uh, mapper can recognize and load a multiple uh, different sorts of uh, file format here. So the sum of the file formats are here. You can able to see that .tiff, uh, .flt, and .adf, and uh, .img. So these are the following uh, file formats where the RAS mapper can recognize it. So these are the file formats where the RAS mapper can recognize it. So currently we are selecting the TIFF file format, and uh, it is acceptable. So you can able to see .tif. So I'm gonna click open. So uh, if you see any other windows rather than this particular window, make sure that you click S. So here you can able to see that we have uh, the file name, the terrain 50 dot uh, bald eagle uh, dem dot tiff, and the projection is given here NAD uh, 1983 state uh, state plain uh, Pennsylvania. And uh, once this file has uh, loaded up here with a number of uh, different sets of information, starting with the info here and uh, the rounding and cell size projection and the file name. So basically what the RAS is going to do is it's going to take that uh, DTM data and it's going to convert into uh, the GeoTIFF uh, format and uh, and it's going to process it. And here actually you can able to see the file name uh, with the data location of this particular uh, data here. So you can able to see the path here. And uh, leave the rest as the default here. For example, the, ra the rounding precision is 1 by 128. Leave it as the default. And next is a vertical conversion. Make sure that you select as a default uh, use input file. And in the vertical conversion, we have uh, different options here. For, uh, we're going to select as a default as a use input file, but we have different options like uh, meters to feet and feet to meter. So it's basically it's going to use the data to convert the vertical uh, units into a uh, meter to feet or feet to meter. So uh, we're going to set, uh, set the default one use input file. And uh, we have this option, the plus sign here. So uh, plus sign, uh, again, you can add multiple uh, DTM data into this window here. And also you can delete this particular uh, DTM uh, by selecting this particular uh, DTM. And you can click this option, uh, the X option. And similarly, in case if you have multiple uh, DIM data has been uh, in, uh, imp imported into this, uh, for, in this window. So you can navigate to the top and bottom using this arrow button here. So once you selected your dem and uh, once you imported your dem, so and uh, leave the rest as a default and we're going to click this option called create. So now here you can able to see in this window we are creating a terrain here. So you can able to see that the computation top task and importing one of one uh, terrain 50 dot ball uh, dem dot tiff. So it is loading size so will take some uh, few seconds to load the stem here so step one step one to three is completed here so now it's going to load our uh, DTM data so 
so uh, you can able to see that uh, so the terrain is complete here so basically uh, this particular window which shows us the creation process so it basically it has uh, imported uh, the DTM and it has created uh, uh, two files of terrain called dot uh, HDF and dot PRT so now the terrain has been uh, completed let me click this option called close so now uh, we have loaded our terrain uh, model into uh, RAS mapper here so similarly I'm gonna add another terrain model here so uh, I'm gonna navigate to this option called terrains I'm gonna right click on that and I'm gonna click this option called create a new RAS terrain and uh, I'm gonna click this option now uh, I'm gonna click this plus option here and uh, now I'm gonna click this particular file called terrain 50.dtm-20 feet so we're gonna select this uh, DTM and I'm uh, gonna click open and once you did that we're gonna leave it at the rest as the default here and uh, you can also rename here so for example uh, you can able the file see the file name here so I'm gonna mention uh, mention it as a I'm gonna mention it as a terrain uh, DTM 20 feet so I'm gonna click this option here and I'm gonna mention as terrain so you can able to see that terrain DTM dot uh, mentioned as 20 feet so I'm gonna click save and once you did that I'm gonna click this option called create so now it's gonna create our uh, the terrain here so this is a uh, high resolution uh, DTM here so I'm gonna close this and uh, let me turn this off and I can able to see the difference here and here you can able to see and uh, this is the channel uh, you can able to see that let me show you that here I'm gonna zoom in here so you can able to see this channel here so we can able to see the channels and uh, these are the over blank over bank uh, floodplain areas uh, these these areas are the floodplain areas and uh, let me show you uh, how we can adjust uh, the terrain appears and uh, I'm gonna use this particular option so I'm gonna click this option called pan and uh, the hand like which appears here so here you can able to see the the terrain elevation here so we're uh, gonna uh, move it uh, down here so uh, you can able to see the elevation variations here so you can able to see the elevation here so to pan around this uh, DTM data I'm gonna left click on my mouse here and uh, now you can able to see that I have uh, pan uh, around the areas here around the DTM so you can able to see the channels here So the next option is uh, we have this particular option called uh, reset view to uh, to a full data extent. So if you click that uh, the terrain uh, will set to the largest extent. Let me show you that. I'm going to click this. So you can able to see that. And the next set of option is uh, we have this uh, this option called select a region to uh, zoom into. So we're going to select this uh, this particular option, the lens option. So I'm going to click this so to zoom into this particular study area i'm gonna uh, click the click and hold my left key so i'm gonna make uh, create a rectangle so now it's gonna zoom into those area here so you can able to see that and the next set of op option is uh, we have this option called zoom uh, into a uh, half current extent so it's gonna zoom in so let me show you that so i'm gonna click this option so you can able to see it uh, zooms in and similarly to zoom out uh, we're gonna click this option called zoom out uh, to a double current extent so now we can able to see these options here so this is the zoom out of op option and this is the zoom in option and uh, now let me navigate back to this particular tool called pan tool so I'm gonna zoom out using my scroll button in, uh, in the mouse so uh, in this video I have shown you uh, how to add uh, a DTM data into a uh, RAS mapper in HECRAS for HECRAS 2D for flood modeling. So I have shown you how to add uh, a DTM data into uh, HECRAS 2D. So thanks for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like.